All righty, I'm back. Um, so um, we're about to really start project two, new cars, because I made it due on May 10th. And um, if we wait until May 10th for our like first submission, then I won't be able to give you feedback to fix anything. So what I want to do is I know it's not due until May 10th, and um, but I want to start talking about it at least next week so that you have about like three weeks to work on this project um, to... But, but anyways, I'm I'm talking about project two right now because I know some of us are still finishing project one. And um, back when we were meeting in classes, we could have done office hours, but Zoom office hour they they go really well too. So if you want to schedule uh, these individual Zoom conferences to talk about your upcoming project when you start working on it, just want you to know that's an option for you. Okay. But let me go back and finish example four C and D, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do some research and learn how to combine like separate videos into a a long one because um unfortunately this week I had to like cut um a one single lesson into like three separate shorter videos and I'm sure there is a way to combine um videos into a longer piece because I just feel horrible listing like four three different links for just this single lesson but. I know you're watching. I know you're learning. So, all right. The very last part. The value of a house is increasing by, increasing by, uh, how did I do it? Okay. Um, $1,900 per year. So this year is going to go up that much. Next year is going to go up that same amount. So this is an absolute amount. Okay. If it's going up by an absolute amount, we know this is linear. And because they said they were increasing, this is going to be linear growth or linear increase. Yeah, I'll say linear increase. It's going up by the same amount every year. So if we have a house that is 49, uh, $429,900 today, um, $900 today, um, what will it be worth in three years? So this is year now. This is year zero. So let's do that simple adding row. After one year, um, we simply add what number? Um, 1900 to that original amount, right? So let's do that. 429,900 plus 1900 is um, $431,800. Year two, I just add the same amount, 1900. I will get 40, $433,700. And the very last one that we wanted, worth in what? Three years. Add another 1900. We will get $435,000. And six hundred dollars. Now, because we do know how to write linear functions, let's write an equation. I know I skipped the equation for exponential function because I wanted to just kind of save that for the six point two lesson. But we can get the same answer without adding number of times. We can do y equals m x plus b. What do you think that constant rate of change is? What are we going up by every year? We're going up by. 1900, right? So that's what we consider to be the constant rate of change. Y equals 1900x. And what's the beginning amount that we started from? This house today is what? $429,900. So if you are interested in the price of this house in the next three years, in, in next three years, uh, we, pull, we plug in three into this good linear function and then if you do that doop, 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 you will get the same amount so up to you because you do know how to write linear functions you do know how to use it if you get these linear increase or linear decrease feel free to write up your y equals mx plus b because you know it but i'll come back and show you how to write these equations for exponential increase or decrease in 6.2 all right let's do the very last one um during the worst period of hyperinflation in a certain country, the price of food increased. Oh, it increased. The price of food increased at, oh, look at that, at a rate of 30% per month. So, like, this is going to be that relative amount. This is going up by relative amount. 
Because like I said, 30% of $100 is going to be different from 30% of $5,000. So this is relative amount. Therefore, this is going to be our an exponential increase. And I say increase because the food price is going up. Um, if your food bill was, all right, let me, if, if your food bill now is $113 in one month, um, during this period, what was it? What was it three months later? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from now and then I'll do one month later, one month, two months, and then I'll do my three months. Okay. So remember, um, the linear functions, we were adding or subtracting the same amount. And the, the two examples that I did today happen to be both increasing. So they were adding, but it can be subtracting too if it's linear decrease, okay? But remember, for exponential increase or decrease, we're going up by the same relative amount. So we're going to have to multiply. The previous one, because I was decreasing by 10% per year, I multiply by 90% to get to the next part, right? Because... 100 minus 10% is 90%. But look, I'm increasing. And we did something like this um, with percents before. If you're increasing the uh, at a rate of 30%, what we're going to have is we're going to have that original 100%, but an additional 30%. So if you add them, you're going to get 130%. And 130% in decimal is 1.3. So what we're going to do is add, as we go to the next number, we're going to multiply by 1.3, okay? Now, it's a, what a coincidence that uh, our original number was $130, but it's, it's not because, you know, that multiplying number is 1.3. It just happened to be that way. All right, so multiply, or I should say multiply by 1.3. Um, so do... 130, I'm getting my calculator, hold on, 130 times 1.3 is $169. Next number, we do the same thing, you multiply by 1.3, you get $219.70. That's probably how these toilet paper costs are going up nowadays. Um, lastly, you do another 1.3, you will get $285.61, and that is the answer we want to give. All right, so um, on 6.2, because I got to give you something fun to look at every Monday and Wednesday, I will show you how to write this linear, I'm sorry, exponential increase or decrease functions. Um, the notes already posted there, but I will go over them in that um on Wednesday, and I have the new lessons posted, um, but that covers everything that you will need for lesson 6.1. So on this week on Canvas, and I'm just, I'm so thankful that you guys been keeping up with this, this assignment, these assignments in uh, Math 154. I know Math 154 can be pretty busy with the number of assignments in a, in a week, uh, but for week 13, I did post um, the attendance quiz for you already. Um, so you are ready to take this attendance quiz. Um, if you quickly review, you only have one Excel homework due to do this weekend because you also have quiz five due this Sunday. What is the name of the Excel homework that is due this Sunday? It's called marriage. Okay. It's called marriage. And, but, um, Mm, hold on one second. Oh, yes, we did this. We did this. Remember what's the annual compounding formula? Um, we went over these formulas together. Um, three is asking linear growth occurs when a quantity grows by the same what kind of amount? Absolute amount. Um, exponential growth occurs when a quantity grows by what amount? So I want you to just kind of answer these and then I'll see how you did. Um, the food, hyperinflation, that's the same example that we just did. But once you answer all, your quest all the questions and submit it, um, you do have three attempts on this attendance quiz. Um, and I will, I do have one already for uh, this Wednesdays, but I'll go over the lesson before you, before I ask you to take this. Okay. You're ready to do your My Math Lab homework 6.1 now. Somebody already kind of did it. Um, 
but you are also now you're also ready to take your quiz five. Quiz five is funny because it's called quiz five, but it does go over six point one. So I had to teach you six point one before I ask you to try quiz five. But now you are ready. This doesn't have this quiz five doesn't have any six point two topics in. So you can take this as soon as you finish your six point one homework. Um, and just one Excel homework, marriage. Um, I went over um this Excel homework and posted the video. I also have the Google slides on it. Um, I think this one was about, it's right. It's yes. So, um, kind of creating a linear trend line again, uh, but all those are posted on canvas. I just opened up the module for week 13 and notice this is a 16 weeks class. We don't have too many things left now. Um, project two new car. Let's start talking about that next Monday so that we can have at least three weeks to work on this project. Okay. All right. If you need anything, please email me. Um, as the end of the semester is approaching kind of quickly, um, just want to make sure that, you know, you, I want you to know that you, you can improve your grade. I'm open to reopening past your assignments. If you ever need to go back and redo them. Okay. All right. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.